Well, 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 what's up? This is Tyler here with Tarver Academy, YouTube channel where we teach you things. Today's video, I want to give a shout out. Thank you, Landry, for hitting me up on social media somewhere. Um, she is with Miss Snyder's ninth grade algebra class, nailed it first try, out of Texas. And so she asked, hey, Tyler, can you teach about quadratics? You know that's all right. So we're gonna teach about quadratics. I'm gonna break it up into a few videos, but we're gonna start with the basics, okay? So let's start with what is a quadratic, okay? If you're just doing the eye test, if you're just looking at a quadratic on a graph, it's gonna look like this, looks like a U. See that little chicken nugget right there? It looks like that, it might be facing downward, but it's not a straight line. So this is what you've been dealing with probably up to this point, a bunch of straight lines. Eh, not that, family feud, it's out, get out of here. Okay, a quadratic goes like that. Now, you're most likely going to need to identify it from the from the coordinate. What is or what is the what does the problem look like? In pictures, they're great, but in math, we like formulas. This right here, this is like your, uh, I guess, like your basic version of the formula. And usually, you won't have a, b, or c. You'll have numbers that are in those places. Okay, but the most important thing that makes this formula a quadratic is that it has x squared, okay? And then that's the largest exponent you have. So like, if you had x to the third in here, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna look like this, okay? It's gonna be a lot weirder, all right? But it's gotta have that. It can't just be like 2x plus seven. That's a straight line, okay? It's gotta have x squared. Now it can be like 3x squared, negative 5x squared. It can be all that, or it can just be x squared, because then that means that the a was one, okay? So with a quadratic, you have to have the x squared and it can't go bigger than that on there. So like, here's an example. 2x squared plus 5x plus three equals zero. Our a is two, our b is positive five, went capital and lowercase, and our c is three, okay? Now, um, that's pretty much it. If you got x squared, you know it's gonna be a quadratic. It might be mixed up, um, on there, like you can have stuff on the other side of the equal sign, but you'll just move things over to the same side and you can make it look like this. Now, it can be missing this. That's totally cool. It can be missing this. Gotta have this guy, okay? Okay, that's that's the basics of quadratics. Uh, next episode, we're gonna talk about, what's a vertex, bruh? Bro, what's a vertex? Thank you, Landry, for uh, sh asking for the shout out. Miss Snyder, I really appreciate you showing my videos to your class. Man, anybody else, if you toss these videos in your Google Classroom, I'm gonna talk to your boss and get you a raise. That's what's right, that's, that's what's right, that's what's up. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys later. Tyler Tarver Academy, y'all be good, stay sweet, and always be 